everyone, I am back with more Metal Gear Acid. Yes, this is episode 9, 9 <laughs> of Acid Commander, and um, things are getting kind of crazy, <laughs> as if they weren't crazy already, which they totally are. Oh, they, this, this game is, is just crazy. <laughs> In a good way and in a weird way. Not in a bad way though. Things are actually going along pretty well. I'm and I'm pretty pleased with um, how things are progressing, even though sometimes I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> the game seems to not know what the hell is going on half the time anyway. So <laughs> that's not true. The game is much smarter than I am. <laughs> at least at this point. I'm still pretty early on in the game. Um but let's see, what happened last time? Oh, we got a new character! So I was joined, so Snake was joined by a woman named Taliko, who calls herself Swallowtail and likes to talk about butterflies. Um, but she's also a lean, mean killing machine, so, <laughs> so I'm happy to have her along, butterflies and all. All right, so I was gonna give a wrap up, but um, I already kind of don't remember what happened other than Taliko has joined the party. I now control two people who have two different sets of cards and I guess two different skill sets, all things considered. Um, and I'm, we're still after Pythagoras. That's what, that's what's going on here. So, and I think I'm trying to find still Dr. Fleming. I'm still trying to find Dr. Fleming, the creator of Pythagoras. Let's just get on with it. So. <laughs> Cause it doesn't, it doesn't matter, really. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was in the residential quarters last time, and now it is time to move on to a place called BRC026. Let's get in, get on, and underway. Wow! <laughs> well, that's one hell of a way to start out a, a stage. What is that terrible smell? Huh. So like last time, Snake was like, perfume, spray some of that perfume. Asked if Talika was wearing perfume and she was like, huh? <laughs> Strange, okay. All right. Okay, that's right. Last, yes, in the last level, a, a security terminal recognized Snake as a guy named Hans Davis. Great. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be in reference, the, the, that feeling was going to be in reference to Hans, but in fact, Snake is sick. All of a sudden. <laughs> They can give, <laughs> so his, that suit he's wearing, they can pump medicine into it. All right. Oh, interesting. So somehow the computer mistakenly recognized Snake as some other guy, a scientist who worked with Fleming. Okay. Uh, kids, yeah, children, yeah, that's my question exactly. Are they the, so they were talking about this, this weird set of, of drug tests that were done on people who knew they were getting, what they were getting into, but, oh my goodness. The Pied Piper Ramlin. Um, uh, now I'm like, well, uh, could it have been? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should just shut up and let the game tell the story. <laughs> That's what I was wondering if the kids were being used. Oh my, Mr. Davis is not a nice guy. Uh, who's Gary? Gary just loves to butt right in. Huh? Oh my gosh. All right, we've got talking marionettes and now a ritual. Ooh, which, as we all know, rituals are often involved 
in horror movies involving kids and puppets. <laughs> Okay, Gary, do tell us more. Oh, dear. <laughs> yes, everybody's just really confused. Huh. Oh, that's just awful. in this warehouse is where people died. <laughs> yes, please. Uh-oh. Gary's turning out to be rather sinister. <laughs> My goodness, somebody say something like a, a statement that means something. <laughs> like concrete. Oh my god, I don't remember. ACUA. Oh shit, that's involved. Uh, nope, don't remember. Oh, did they not explain it? I thought that came up earlier in the game. I'm kind of confused as to why Gary, this engineer, is suddenly talking like some super evil villain. <laughs> and he, well, how he knows so much. <laughs> and what? Those dolls on the plane said something about a number 16. Huh? <laughs> Alright, we went over the Pied Piper. Yes, reference. Awful lot of clicking. What? Okay, those are really good questions, but um, I'm not sure I quite understand what's going on. And now I'm starting to wonder just how, like, would, would it have helped overall if I had played previous Metal Gear titles in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> you know, it helped with this, what's going on in this game, because I am confused. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah. Oh my god. Seriously, Gary, just fucking say something straight! <laughs> Okay. 
This was not a little informative session. This was a long ass <laughs> informative session that, well, it was sort of informative, but really it was just, just more confusing information that it, <laughs> what code? How is he? Uh, all right, so now everybody's in a rush to get to Fleming. I have nothing to say. I really need to get on with the game, for one. And Gary's role in this is just... So, so he's... He's either not who he says he is, or he's just, he's, <laughs> he's just the villain somehow. Um, which would mean that he was not who he says he was, uh, is, was. Oh my god. We're just gonna keep on talking, aren't we? <laughs> All right, so now we're talking about Metal Gear. Yeah, all right. There's just too many players in this game. Huh, all right. I'm picturing like a giant mech. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it is or not. Somebody said something in this game, and then it really, they aren't really saying what they mean. That, that seems to be how things are going. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, I, I see that connection. Yeah, okay. Um... Alice is busy with, uh, what's your name on the plane trying to find that bomb. <gasps> huh. Uh, okay, yes, that's what he was after. Plans for a Metal Gear. So it is actually a device, a thing. Just put that whole Hans Davis mystery on the back burner. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ, how much more is there? <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> let's hurry and sit here for 10 minutes and chat, okay? That, because that's how things go. God damn. Oh. Fucking hey. Okay, on we go. All right, so. Things did change a little bit last time with the cards because I was informed during one of the intermission briefings that, oh, I got a new gun. So I was informed that... I can now equip weapons. So before I was able to equip um, actions, so, and then use weapons. So I still have weapons here that I can use, like this rifle, but now I have something that I can equip. So I'm just gonna take a minute and I'm gonna equip a gun, because it sounds like a good idea. And then I guess I need to move. So let's see what the layout is here as we move around. So we're in a warehouse. Aha. And there are soldiers. And there's a patrol bot. 
soldier over there. So I see, where'd that go? I see there's my goal up there at the very top, the gray target. So, oh, there's a guy there. Oh, she's another patrol bot. Oh, so nobody can go that way because <laughs> he will see. As I can see his field of vision there. Um, all right, so we're going to start by moving. Let's move. Pick one of these cards to move with. I don't want to use it. And... Um, I'm going to move Snake here. Sorry, it just... <laughs> I just hit my microphone for no good reason. I'm just gonna stay here. No, I don't. Okay, we're gonna. Um, I'm tempted to knock to bring that guy over this way, but I don't. Just so he'll get out of the way. It's more a matter of if any of these folks move towards me. But let's let's leave Snake there, and. Um. Huh. Gave me one of those M9s. I am... I'm going to move Taliko over this way. And see... So I learned from the last round that in this case, just one of the characters has to reach the target. So... So I don't know what that means. Maybe I can use... Um, I'm going to equip something early on here and let the other characters move. Um, what does that mean, equip? Okay, so those actions can be added to weapons. Yeah. Still a lot of learning left to do. <laughs> Whatever that w that's worth. Okay, so he's moving away. So I really just have to get either Taliko or Snake up to that target. And it should end this part of this mission. Um, ooh -hoo -hoo. I found this rocket launcher the last time. I don't I don't plan on using it <laughs> at the moment. And I still have my SOCOM, that's great. Um let's move. Since he moved that way. Um, huh, I wonder how long I can stay hidden. I'm going to select to move. Oh, I can also go up. Huh. I wonder if that means I could take out targets from above. Uh, no, no, no. I don't want to, but... <laughs> Alright, I'm going to move. I'm going to... I'm going to move over this way. And I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how long it can stay hidden. So let's just stay here. I'm gonna flatten against this wall. All right, very good. So let's end that turn. And I'm gonna go ahead and equip her. So I have. Okay, so I can upgrade to level three. Am I level, what level am I? All right, well, apparently I can't use that. So we're gonna use that to move. And the question is where to move her to. I see a spot that I'd like to put her over here. So let's see if I, it looks like, Nobody's gonna... It's not awesome, but maybe I can crawl. Because I'm thinking I she can be hidden from the right side by that barrel. And it didn't look like anybody was coming down the left corridor. So let's see, that guy's gonna move. Okay, that's good. Um, so I need to look ahead again. Eesh. Hmm. Well, 
shit. I can't go that way until that guy moves. Um... No, 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 no. Damn it. It's too easy to screw up. Um, I'm going to equip myself with another gun. <laughs> and I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on moving Snake. I wish I had, like, some, some logical reason that I feel like these are the... I don't want to say they're the right things to do, but why they make sense in the moment. But I really don't. Like, it's just... <laughs> It's a lot of, um, it's a lot of just, I, I think this might be right. That guy still hasn't moved. I don't want to, I kind of want to get rid of this guy down here, but I also don't really, where'd he go? Right there. Because I feel like he's going to see me. <laughs> um... Maybe, maybe I should move to the top of the... No, because if I move up there, then I... Well... I'm thinking, like, maybe I should... Maybe I should move. I'm trying to think of how I could possibly create a diversion to get to Lico through. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, let me... Let's, let's move... We'll be very, very quiet. I don't think that guy will see me. <laughs> As I'm standing right next to him. <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to... I'm just going to move here. And I'm going to face... This way. I'm going to see... I'm gonna, and I'm going to crawl. I, I don't think that their field... Oh, fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, maybe that wasn't enough. Or maybe I can use that. Ooh, see, because everybody's coming this way, so that's good. Alrighty. This is what I was hoping. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was funny, actually. <laughs> I love the question mark, like, what? What the hell? Um, this is what I'm thinking. Can I? Ooh, look at that throwing range. So I want to, like, blow up something over here. Or do I? Taleko is stuck there. Taleko is stuck there. Um, but I'm thinking if I... If I make people move <laughs> off to the left, maybe I can run her back to the right. Does that make sense? Right? If I blow a lot of stuff up. So I'm going to try that. Let's see if it works. <laughs> and... Um, I'm just going to attach an action to one of these weapons. How about... How about the rifle? The, the AK. All right. Now I'm also seeing, last time I did learn about these these red and blue and green markers that are around the weapons. They mean something. They really do. And I don't remember what they are. They affect the, you know, what's adjacent to them. Whether they give you a higher attack or higher defense or something. <sighs> oh, now. Ah, shit. This is... Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, I need for that that explosion to go off soon. Shit. Oh, that would be good for you to move there. Because... Oh, how am I going to do this? Okay, I'm actually going to need to run her around this way. I think I'm just going to have to do a bunch of moving. So let's get her out of the way. We'll see. This is a real roundabout way to do this. I want to stand, actually. Oh, I wanted her to fly. You have to, st you have to stand, and then you have to stay, and then you have to flatten it. Um. 
I want to stay right here for the moment. Just be, just hang out for a second. All right. Actually, the knock function could work really well here. Let me just see what this guy is packing. See, he has some armor and a couple of guns. So, uh, <clears throat> Maybe I can distract him without... Oh, see, he's already called for help, so damn. All right, that didn't work, but that's good. Ooh, he dead, he's dead. The, the, the alert didn't go off. Ooh, I like that. Um, so now I have to get myself down. Alright. Uh, let's stand. Oh boy, this is gonna be long. Um, <laughs> and unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to get over to that guy. Maybe I can. Where is he? He's down quite a ways. You know, I might if I if I lower my cost down to zero, so it'll be my turn next. Yeah, before anybody else goes. And then if I move myself over to I'm not gonna have I don't have enough like movement blocks. Um, shoot, you know what I'm thinking? Damn. Um, actually, let me go back up. Because I wonder if I crawl. <clears throat> so that guy didn't see me from the ground when I was like this. Can I shoot? No, I can't. But I can throw another. I was hoping I could shoot that, um... The barrel that's right there. 